the next thing is a nested if or nested branches that is So you can nest any kinds of if else's in another if else. Okay. Example. So let's say it's a drinks ordering kind of problem that first you ask uh, the customer for the drink order. If customer orders wine, let's say, then you ask the customer for ID. If customer's age is 21, you can serve wine else. You can do something else right so there are two ifs first if is is the customer ordering wine yes okay this is true so come inside then you check if the customer's age is over 21 right the flow chart looks something like this if or first ask for order did the customer order wine it's true go this branch this way else come this way serve non-alcoholic drink and you're done let's say you're go going in the true branch like yes the customer ordered wine then you check the id is customer over 21 if it's true go this way if it's false go this way right so you can see if you go this way you say you have to be over 21 to serve a wine and you get out the same branch right so that is an example. In so in our case, let's say we have another variable. B is twenty. Let's say, okay. So if A is greater than five, yes, it is. So it will come this part, right? So in here, you can do some another if if b is 20 do what remember colon and note this part so now you are tabbed inside this if let's say we write another statement print in b block let's say okay else print what uh, b block else right we are in that okay oops see the error forgot this okay so that's why color coded genie is much better okay so what's happening in this code if I can extend it okay so if uh, sorry in the in the start we are assigning a to be 6 B to be 20 these are two variables if variable a is greater than 5 it is it's 6 it should come in this branch so these are all part of the if block all these statements okay so what's happening first you print this print this then it checks is B 20 yes it is so it should print this also right else it will print only this like it will print this after these two statements that is and then if you want to do something else other than the these if else you can write it this and if if you look at the line so this is again part of this if block okay and number of lines like doesn't matter as long as it's tabbed all is part of and spacing doesn't matter python only considers the tabs so all these are tabbed under the if so they are all part of the if block okay so let's save it run the file see what's the result remove it okay so a is five yes that's printed part of if being shown that's printed then you're in here and you see one space is because i put a space here okay 
So B is 20, so in B block is printed. Let's close it. Change B to something else. And now I'm gonna put something else, line, line, space, 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 and see how the output is affected. So now these two lines should be printed and then this. So first two lines are printed because A is greater than six, so these are part of that block. And yes, all of this is part of A is greater than uh, five block. And in that block, we are checking whether B is 20 or not. Is B 20? No. So the else should be executed, which it is. And whatever I wrote inside the print statement is thrown to the screen as is. Okay. So that is um, nesting. Then there is another example uh, of a nesting if for the tag statement. Make sure you understand this what's happening here. So if marital status is single, your tax is like your code will run this. If marital status is not single, it should run this block. And in each of these blocks, if else, you have further if conditions, okay? So that's all that's happening in this part of the code. So make sure you understand these, okay? Then hand tracing is essentially saying that when you're writing code, make sure that you uh, write pseudocode on paper and you check your if else conditions on paper first and see if everything is making sense. If it is, meaning that you define your branches on paper by hand and then you take them and write uh, the code, okay? Because if you just jump in, into the code, you may make mistakes.